A strict nighttime curfew for Paris and eight other major cities is the latest weapon in the French president's anti coronavirus armory. The measure, from 9 pm to 6 am, will come into effect from Saturday and last for at least four weeks. There won't be a ban on moving around between 9 p.m. and 6 a.m., but people will have to have a good reason. That means that we won't go to restaurants. We won't leave the restaurant later than 9 p.m. We won't go to friends' houses because we know that's where we get infected most easily and that's what we have to reduce. The news hasn't gone down well among young Parisians. My first reaction was that it's going to be hell. I mean, we're not working remotely, so we still have to go to work. I actually get home from work at 9 p.m., so it's going to be very difficult in terms of social life. I'm absolutely not going to have a social life anymore. I suppose it must have been necessary, but 9 p.m., 6 a.m., personally, I work from home, so going out was my only joy in life. A surge in COVID-19 cases is being reported across Europe. While Macron declared a public health emergency in France, in Portugal it was called a state of calamity. New powers will reduce meetings in the streets, in restaurants and commercial spaces to a maximum of five people, in addition to other restrictions. Meanwhile, as new infections also rise in Germany, Chancellor Angela Merkel made her own rallying call. And what's very important now, and I would therefore like to appeal once again to all citizens, is that everyone should continue to play their part in this crucial phase of the autumn. The compliance with the rules is absolutely crucial. We don't have to surrender to the virus in any way. We can fight it. Those rules include early closing for bars and restaurants in high-risk areas and limiting private gatherings to 10 people from two households. Having coped better than most of its European neighbours, Germany is also heeding coronavirus alarm bells. Evelyn Lavrik, Euronews.